effects of soil pollution on plants. Learners, we say that excessive or improper use of fertilizers and agricultural chemicals such as herbicides, uh, pesticides, and artificial fertilizers affects plants negatively. These chemicals uh, contain substances that interfere with the composition of soil, leading to um, stunted growth and poor productivity in plants. Okay, excessive and improper use of fertilizers, number one excessive and improper use of fertilizers like insecticides, herbicides, what else? What else learners? Other than insecticides, we have herbicides. I can also add pesticides. So in excessive or improper use of fertilizers like the herbicides, the pesticides, and the insecticides affects plants negatively. Affects plants negatively. affects plant, plants negatively. These chemicals, these are chemicals. They, 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 the fertilizers contain chemicals or substances that interfere with the composition of soil. So the soil is corrupted. The soil is polluted with these uh, poisonous substances. And if the soil is thus polluted, then that will affect the, the growth of plants and productivity in plants. So that is one effect of soil pollution on plants. Then number two, uh, glass materials. Remember we talked about glass materials, polythene papers, plastic bottles, metals, metal remains, and so on. We said all these uh, substances that I've mentioned uh, that are emitted into the environment by, uh, by industries or, 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 or factories, these solid substances do not rot in soil. They do not decompose. They stay in the soil for a long time and sometimes obstruct the growth of plants. So if plants are to grow, then these solids obstruct the growth of plants. Okay? and this interferes with proper plant growth. So, uh, so this solid waste, like uh, the glass materials, let me write down, glass materials, polythene, papers, papers, plastic, plastic bottles, plastic bottles, polythene, papers, glass, glass materials. In our last lesson, we mentioned rubber remains, rubber remains, rubber remains. We also mentioned glass uh, remains. These are solid wastes that are emitted into the uh, environment by, com by companies that manufact uh, by manufacture industries or factories. All these materials learners do not rot when they are thrown into the soil. They stay in the soil for a very long period of time. And they, they sometimes obstruct the growth of plant roots, especially the plant roots. The plant roots are not able to grow because of these obstructions. So all these materials do not rot in the soil. 
Yeah, so if they are thrown in the soil and they do not rot, then uh, meaning that they stay in the soil for a long time. So they will affect plant growth. We are discussing the effects of soil pollution on plant growth. Soil pollution is, is the, the, the throwing of glass materials, polythene papers, plastic bottles into the soil. When you, you pollute the soil with these materials, then you are obstructing the growth of plants. So they do not rot in the soil. They do not rot in the soil. They remain in the soil for a long period of time and sometimes uh, obstruct the growth of plant roots. Okay, that is the second point. The third effect, the third effect is related to this one, but is we are talking of the oil spills and polythene pepper uh, block air spaces. The oil spills and polythene uh, pepper block air spaces, okay, uh, that are thrown in the soil. They also cause soil pollution. So these uh, oil spills interferes with the proper circulation of air in the soil. All right, oil spills. The oil that spills in the soil uh, together with the polythene papers, they interfere, okay? They interfere with proper circulation of air in the soil. We are saying the oil spills and polythene papers interfere with the circulation of air, with proper circulation, proper circulation of air in the soil, resulting to the death resulting to the death of small organisms which help in um, breaking down of organic matter. Small organisms which help in breaking down organic matter. So the pollution of the soil by oil spills and polythene papers and such substances interferes with the proper circulation of air in the soil. When there is no proper circulation of air in the soil, the small organisms like earthworms will not breathe because they need oxygen. So when they do not breathe because of this pollution, then these organisms die. When these organisms die, then learners, the effect is that the organic matter will not be broken down because these organisms help in breaking down of organic matter. And if organic matter is not broken down, this will lead to poor soil fertility, which, uh, soil fertility, which affects um, plant growth. Do you understand? Poor circulation of air in soil also interferes with the breathing of plant roots, breathing of plant roots. So, Soil pollution has that bad effect on, on plants. So firstly, the, the animals which help in plant growth are, are, are not able to breathe because of pollution. 
So if they're not able to breathe, then the soil is affected. There is no proper circulation of air in the soil. So the plant, the, the small organisms which help in breaking down the organic matter, uh, and this breaking down of organic matter learners is what is very important in soil fertility. When these organisms break down organic matter, they help to make the soil fertile. So in the absence of the small organisms, then soil is not made fertile. And if soil is not fertile, then that will affect plant growth. Is that clear? That has to be clear. That has to be clear. That is number three. Moving on, learners, number four. Number four. Effects of soil pollution on plants. Number four, industrial waste gases. Industrial waste gases, we learned earlier, that dissolves in rainwater to form acid rain. This acid rain, when it descends, makes the soil more acidic. When soil is more acidic, it interferes with the, with, the, with the proper growth of plants because it kills, it kills um, decomposers. These are organisms that decompose organic matter. It kills decomposers in the soil, leading to poor soil fertility. And poor soil fertility is not suitable for plant growth. So, do you get the connection? We are talking about industrial waste gases. Industrial waste gases like the carbon dioxide, the, the sulfur dioxide. These gases are released into the atmosphere by uh, factories and and industries as byproducts. Now, when they are released into the atmosphere, they dissolve in rainwater when they are in the atmosphere and the rains come down. So these gases dissolve into the rainwater, forming what we call acid rain. This acid rain makes the soil more acidic. When it gets to the ground, it makes the soil more acidic. When the soil is more acidic, it interferes with the proper growth of plants by killing the decomposers in the soil. Those organisms like the earthworms, which help in decomposition of the soil, are killed, leading to poor soil fertility. Because without decomposition, the soil will not be fertile. And soil that is not fertile is not suitable for plant growth. So learners, that is how industrial waste gases affect plants, effects of soil pollution on plants. Industrial waste gases pollute the soil. They pollute the soil. So we've said industrial waste gases Industrial waste gases dissolve in rain water. Let me write dissolve in rain water to form acid rain. That's point number one. When this happens, learners, a, 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 a harmful chemical has been uh, formed in the name of acid rain. This is acidic. And acidic rain makes the soil more acidic. Acidic rain makes the soil more acidic. Acidic rain 
make the soil more acidic, thus interfering with proper growth of plants, which interferes with proper growth of plants. Uh, how does acidic um, soil interfere with proper growth of plants? By killing decomposers in the soil. When decomposers in the soil are killed, then soil will not be fertile. When soil is not fertile, then plants will not grow in that soil. That is number four. Then number five, number five learners, we can, uh, we can give the point on, 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 um, on um, withering. Okay, we can say soil pollution can cause withering and drying of plants. Soil pollution can cause withering and drying of plants, especially the leaves. The leaves are likely to be affected the most, especially when you have the acidic rain. So these are five uh, uh, causes or effects, the effects of soil pollution, effects of soil pollution on plants. Thank you.